look just like the pictures in George's book. Except now, it was right outside the window. <laughs> George, get down. The rover is going to deploy. Huh? George didn't know what deploy meant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then he found out. <laughs> the rover drove away with George. No problem. Just use the remote control to bring it back. I, I can't find it. Oops, uh, I think I left it sitting on the rover. My mistake. <laughs> George was on an out of control Mars rover. He had to stop it. <laughs> that sure looked like a remote control. Now George was in full control, except for being lost on Mars. Maybe he could find his way using the book. There were the two moons of Mars. That wouldn't help him find his way back to the ship, but it sure was cool. He reached the Valles Marineris. It looked like the Grand Canyon, but much bigger than any canyon on Earth. He also found the Olympus Mons, the highest volcano in the solar system. Had a pretty nice view, too. <gasps> He'd found the rocket. <laughs> now all he had to do was drive there. <laughs> the rover was stuck. He had to give it a good push to get it going again. That was his mission. <laughs> Einstein's broccoli spinach gum was gumming up the works. He wanted to get to the ship and tell the man with the yellow hat. Except the rover wouldn't go. Luckily, <laughs> he remembered he was three times as strong in Mars' low gravity. <laughs> George, are you okay? Huh? You were sleeping so peacefully. Did that sound wake you up? I blew a bubble and it popped. <laughs> Then George realized why he was dreaming about gum. <laughs> ah, gum in the main rover control panel. Did you stick gum in there every time I told you to stop chewing? See, I, I, I thought that one was the trash. <laughs> Oops. George, how did you figure that out? <laughs> ah.